so I bought cup whoa okay oops I just cracked my MacBook cover <laughs> I'm just so clumsy <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new here, my name is Brigitte, but everybody calls me Bri. I am right now in Germany and I decided that let me just kind of film a little sit down vlog and update you guys what's been happening in my life. Technically I was supposed to be in Istanbul from August 1st and I mentioned in one of my videos recently that I am going to be going probably to Istanbul for modeling. However, that did not work out as planned originally, um, but everything is sorted now and I'm going there in a few days, so next week. You know, I just came back from Croatia and I was in Lithuania and the last couple of videos were travel related and, you know, I'm going to be going to Istanbul soon, so there's probably going to be some travel content from there because... Um, if everything goes well, I'm gonna be there for the next two months. Um, I decided that let's just film a little calm at home video. Why the heck not, right? I have a lot to tell you, some thoughts that have been on my mind. I have some stuff to show you. Well, actually a lot of this video is gonna be about stuff. I wanted to chat to you guys and basically just share what's been going on in my mind in the last couple of weeks that I've been here in Germany. So I was editing the last two videos and that takes quite a long time. <laughs> the last two videos were like half an hour long each. So yeah, that took me some time and then I was just kind of catching up with my mom, watching some movies with her. It's just been really nice to like not rush, not go anywhere. And I know it sounds very maybe like pretentious because it's you know it's a privilege to be busy and to go to work and to have like i don't know um opportunities to go to places i understand that especially in this time but at the same time i i'm very homebody like i really appreciate being at home i'm a cancer so i like to you know go into my shell and just kind of like recharge my batteries and i feel like being here at my mom's place is exactly what it is like just recharging my batteries before the business picks up again um so yeah i just feel very lucky that i you know got to see my family this year because you know my dad lives in lithuania i went to lithuania to see him i just came from croatia with where i was with my brother and now i'm in germany where my mom lives so I definitely feel so grateful to have spent so much time with them this year and like I really mean it because I felt like in the last years I definitely didn't really prioritize my family. I didn't really participate in being a daughter or a sister, you know? I was like more like, yeah, this can wait when actually you should never think like that. I definitely need to work even harder. It's not like I'm patting myself on the back. I definitely feel like I have still a long way to go, but <laughs> it takes time, especially when you lived by yourself for so many years like I did. Like, I lived by myself for the last eight years. I mean, not with my family, and, you know, it's kind of hard to be in touch with them when everyone lives in different countries. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood. Oh, actually, I know why I'm in such a good mood. I have tried a keto diet a um, couple of years ago, and I don't want to promote diets or anything to do with, like, body image and weight, and it's not really my niche, but I am gonna say this because maybe it's gonna make me like commit to it even more but since I got here to Germany I've been doing keto diet and it's something that really helped me a few years ago to feel super energized and not to eat crap and basically those that don't know what keto diet is you have to prioritize eating healthy fats and eating a lot of protein and so you have to literally cut out all the good stuff <laughs> that I you know everyone thinks is good stuff and it's like you know pasta and potatoes and bread and rice and just anything with carbs i mean you can consume carbs but it cannot be more than like 20 grams recommended per day and that is so so freaking hard i mean you would be surprised how much carbs there is in everything and so not eating carbs is definitely a big challenge but once you kind of get a hang of and what is allowed and what is not allowed then you you know you're kind of good and so i'm gonna be sharing what i've bought recently or what i've tried or what I'm taking with me to Istanbul actually that is kind of keto friendly and uh, yeah I don't know how long I'm gonna do this I don't want to like say oh this is the lifestyle that I'm gonna live for the rest of my life because it's not something that I feel comfortable you know promising to you or to myself I definitely feel like this is something that I need to do for myself right now because it makes me feel good and yeah I hope that shows <laughs> besides from like you know watching movies editing and all this crap that I've been just telling you all about I have also been doing a lot of shopping and that's why I kind of you know made a disclaimer at the beginning of this video that this video is gonna be also a lot about stuff and not just you know sit down talking and you know just 
expressing myself i don't know how but i've always loved germany for shopping like i lived here for two years and i always found it's so enjoyable to shop here i don't know what it is don't ask me why but i love going to like the drugstores here and like buying toiletries so a lot of the stuff i show you today is something that i'm taking with me to istanbul and yeah i'm excited i definitely bought a lot of stuff it's probably not going to be my like priority to you know go and buy certain things so i kind of wanted to go prepared i love being prepared you know the ex-flight attendant habits are still there i want to be like ready for all the situations i'm kind of dreading i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm 27 i mean i just turned 27 and going for first modeling trip at this age is kind of late i would say and it's not something that i'm doing in order to you know make big money but i'm kind of like going more for the experience and just to challenge myself and yeah i mean like why not you know i think it's gonna be really cool uh, i loved istanbul i've been there once for like a few days and i thought it was a really nice city so i have a couple of people that i know and one of my girlfriends that i recently met on a photo shoot is gonna be there so i'm very excited my biggest concern i suppose is not even like the jobs or like the photo shoots of course that's you know something different to what i'm used to like up until now since i started modeling less than a year ago i've been getting jobs here and there but this you know trip is going to be just for work and it's kind of like you go to castings every day and you're going to be you know shooting a lot and yeah so let me know if you guys want to see a lot of those type of videos because i'd definitely be happy to film if you know the agency and the clients will allow doing some behind the scenes type of videos or vlogs or whatnot so let me know if you want to see that and i have to put that out there that you know my content is probably going to be changing a lot because you know i'm sure a lot of you are here from my aviation journey or just because like i liked traveling and you enjoy traveling content um so yeah i'm sorry because i feel like i'm betraying those of you that were into only that type of content but i definitely hope that a lot of you will also find this journey of my life also interesting and yeah i'm excited about it i have a good feeling about it and i'm excited to challenge myself because you know you the older you get the more comfortable you get with your ways and your habits and your routines so getting yourself out there again and trying something new is not for everyone let's be real you know let's admit that not everyone likes that and i think that that's gonna be a good step for me to push myself even further and just to you know work hard and hopefully make something good out of it you know like i said i have a good feeling about it but my concern is definitely living in a girl's apartment so if you don't know look it up on youtube there is modeling apartments and let me tell you a lot of people don't speak very fondly about those apartments <laughs> i haven't been living with a lot of other people since my university days and that was like you know 2014 2015 and it wasn't necessarily a favorite part of my life living in a dormitory with other you know people because you know sometimes people leave trash and it stinks and there's flies and there's dishes that are not washed and you know i don't know i just feel like it's weird sharing showers and yeah so i'm kind of nervous to see where i'm gonna be living um i hope that the girls are gonna be nice i think there can be up to like seven of us sharing an apartment so yeah let's see how that's gonna go <laughs> so my mom just left for work and uh we've been going around to a few different like shops here and i tried to drive her car because she lives in the middle of nowhere honestly like outside right now i'm looking and there's like fields and forests and yeah anyway so i tried to drive her car and i <laughs> i I cannot even though I did my driver's license in Germany and I learned to drive manually so like with the clutch and everything I can't drive a manual car anymore because in Dubai I've been driving automatic cars and yeah I don't know how to drive anymore it's so weird especially on the first gear Ugh, hate it I don't even know why manual cars even exist it should be all automatic so yeah my mom has been driving me around which is like I feel so lame about but anyways we did some really cool shopping I honestly feel a little surprised because like I haven't been shopping in Germany for like several years at least and it kind of blows my mind what big of an upgrade there was in the market I don't know maybe it's just me because I haven't lived here for such a long time or there really definitely was a big change in the items and i don't know i don't know if you guys have this thing in the mornings when i wake up i have like these lines here from sleeping because like you know i sleep on the side sometimes and it's like squeezing and then there's like these wrinkles here 
And I'm like, what the heck is that? You know, and I googled it up and there's like certain masks or pillows you can put in it. And I was like kind of tempted to order, but I also don't feel like it's going to work. So maybe I should just sleep on my back or like on my tummy. But I did see in one of the stores here in Germany, it's called Chibo. And I saw that they have like this thing in, you know, to protect the chest area from getting wrinkles. And I was like, whoa, this is so wild, you know, like I kind of... I kind of wanted to buy it just because I googled about it and I wanted to try it but then I was like nah I think it's like a little bit expensive maybe it's not gonna work um, but if any of you guys have tried and actually know what to do to prevent these you know wrinkles here please let me know I would really really love to protect this area and like the neck as much as I can because obviously those are the first areas that give off your age and I know I'm 27 and I shouldn't be talking about age but you know prevention is key as you guys know I had a brow lift two months ago and I'm so happy with how it came out however I just wanted to kind of like share what's been happening after those two months since my surgery and in my recovery process and that is that my freaking head it's just like crazy i can't even explain it to you i honestly thought that i like i don't know have a dry scalp dandruff some crap like that but it's honestly just um nerves healing because what happens is for like six to twelve months this part of your head is numb i mean not necessarily numb but it kind of feels yeah numb that's the word sorry there's no other word for it <laughs> So yeah, I do feel a lot, but on this side, I feel like it's been itching like crazy and it's kind of like a side effect and it's going to take time to heal. So I just wanted to share with you this little disadvantage. If you are considering this surgery ever in your life or if you know anyone that's considering, please let them know because it's definitely a very, very, very annoying thing. Uh, and I've been using bio oil. I just bought it here in Germany because I have one in Dubai, but I didn't take it with me. Um, to like put it on the areas where the incisions were made and yeah let's get now to the real good stuff which is the haul okay so how do we do this so I picked this new makeup bag which is so cute and little I thought it was so comfortable and I only keep here the makeup because before all of my makeup was in this pouch like I obviously have all my makeup back in Dubai but I mean when I travel I'd always put makeup in this and the makeup brushes and I feel like that is such a bad thing to do because all of my makeup brushes got scratched so I got an excuse to buy a makeup brushes bag how cute is that I'm gonna link it down below because it is from Amazon and I am so excited look how organized and neat so yeah this part is mostly for girls and if you are a guy I mean you can keep watching but I'm just warning you that there might be some you know girly stuff okay so next up is a perfume that I absolutely adore and I should not be allowed to buy any more perfume because honestly I'm obsessed with perfumes and it's just getting out of hand but this perfume I've had already before and Mr. Mugler, I adore you for creating this perfume. This perfume is discontinued and I honestly really don't know why. My cousin showed this perfume to me probably like five, more than five years ago, something like that. And it's absolutely stunning. The bottle and the scent and the longevity. Oh my gosh, it's just like in my top three, honestly. I found it on sale now online, so you can only get it online. You will not find it in any perfume stores or anything like that. And I mean, just look how freaking cool this perfume is. And then I also found it on sale. So these are also perfumes that I've had before. And they are eccentric molecules. Number one and a number two. I haven't opened them. I'm just going to give them to my mom to bring them to me to Dubai so I just want to have them in my collection because I use them both and they're unisex they're very different and not a lot of people like them because they I don't know how to describe what they smell like but they're just gorgeous in my opinion they last so long as well and yeah I want to have them back in my collection so if you know you know I'm honestly shook how much interesting stuff I found this time well just you know doing simple toiletry shopping it's insane so i'm very excited to show you guys these products from foamy it is a german brand that i found in yeah rossman or dm i don't remember now and it is such a cool concept please you know feel free to laugh at me i'm okay with that but i didn't know that they make 
you know shampoos and conditioners like that but i saw so many brands doing that like garnier as well like have them gul which is also a really nice brand that i've been using for a lot of years i thought that this is gonna be perfect because i don't know about you guys but i really definitely struggle when i travel sometimes like i hate using those small bottles those, those travel size bottles because like it's so hard to squeeze out of them sometimes and it's just like then the remaining of it you know stays in that bottle and it's just like such a hassle to you know put it back and forth or take a big bottle and then yeah, you get you get the headache that I'm trying to explain here, right? So yeah, I was so excited to discover this and I don't know if you guys can see but this is equivalent to 250 ml worth of shampoo. How freaking cool. So another thing is it's vegan, it's plastic free and it's not an ad by the way. I wish it was because it's such a cool thing to support and in my opinion and promote. I also got a shower bar. Like one of the reasons why I've been waiting to film this video to sort everything out of the boxes is this it's from the same brand and it is like a travel size you know case so it's so cool it actually even says for traveling going to the gym or home um so it's also plastic free which i think is a dope so there it says 80 percent wheat fiber I mean, how dope is that? So let's put the shampoo and the shower gel and everything into these lovely cases. Oh, this is so cute. And you can like hang it as well. Oh, nice. I love that. That is a shampoo. There we go. How lovely and neat. And bam. Amazing. I am obsessed. <laughs> My life has changed. Honestly, I'm a changed woman now. Conditioner. Oh, this is giving me so much satisfaction I can't even explain to you. And you know the best part is that you can just put this in your hand luggage because sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but like I pack a lot of like toiletries for my trips and like I said, I use sometimes the full size shampoo and whatnot. And you know sometimes your luggage, you know, reaches the limit and you're like, shit, I shouldn't have packed that. And I feel like this is perfect because it doesn't, you know, it's not liquid so you can just take it to your hand luggage and it doesn't, you know, take up too much space. So absolutely perfect from dm i picked up again the hair vitamins that i showed to you guys um a long time ago or like not a long time ago but like sometime this year i've been taking them you know, maybe like two months now something like that but to be totally honest i still haven't seen like a crazy improvement but i do think it's still better than not not taking any vitamins for your hair or you know not looking after your skin so yeah this is hair skin nails so yeah, for now, I'm just taking them and hoping that, you know, I'm gonna be blessed and wake up with Rapunzel hair one day. If you're a guy, skip this part. I wanted to show you a couple interesting things that I found and I wanted to try. So I definitely don't think that I'm, you know, the most eco-friendly person, but I definitely want to try to be one. So I've been using a period cup for... I don't know about a year and there are months when I love it and there are months when I'm like mm, you know so yeah this is to do with down south and this is not a period cup but it's something that I wanted to show you girls in case you are interested interested I have seen period pennies but I've never tried it and I feel like they might be gross correct me if I'm wrong but I definitely wanted to try washable liner pads i think it's such an interesting concept and i haven't even opened them oh they're very soft they, they feel like underwear so you can wash them i don't know if any of you tried let me know um i'm kind of nervous to try it, but i felt the same way about a period cup and i thought ew but now i think it's one of the greatest inventions ever so maybe you know this is going to be also life-changing the next item is so it is to do with periods and it's a plaster or band-aid and it's a heated one i don't know how it's gonna work oh wow they're pretty thick i didn't expect that i honestly have no idea how this is gonna work but i thought you know sometimes there are months where you're like i'm not gonna be able to function today i cannot get out of the bed and i really want to avoid that as much as i can and so i thought let me just buy this for you know emergency cases because when I'm gonna be in Istanbul, I cannot, you know, take a day off Oh, because I'm not feeling well, like, you know So I definitely want to be professional on top of my game So I want to be prepared for everything So yeah, I bought even this And speaking of periods, um, yeah, yesterday I saw this TikTok They had like a pen, you know, or a pencil, I don't know And they said if you have like crazy period pain, you need to like massage this part of your ear And I honestly was like, 
whoa i've never heard of this trick like you know and i'm definitely gonna be trying next time i'm in freaking pain so girls if you try this method let me know and if you haven't tried try and let me know if it worked for you <laughs> maybe you know about this i don't know maybe i'm just you know behind in the game okay you guys can join back into the video now <laughs> um i also picked up a few bronzing towels i guess that's what you could call them i mean i'm pretty tan now from croatia i know my face isn't but like my body is which i'm really happy about but i just thought you know sometimes you want to look extra tan in the evening so i took a few of these when i said that there's a lot of interesting items and that there was definitely an upgrade in the range of products um in the drugstores in germany i really meant it so yesterday we went into dm and i saw these masks like the sheet masks and uh, iPads and I was like oh I've never seen this brand and then underneath the brand I saw Stephanie Giesinger or like Stephanie Giesinger and I was like I know that girl I follow her on Instagram and she is a German model who I believe won or participated in top model or Germany's next top model I don't know I never really watched this so and anyways I think she's a really nice girl and I'm just kind of excited to support you know models influencers content creators because i feel like these big freaking brands already you know are like bathing in money and it's kind of cool to support women or you know not necessarily just women but like other people that are kind of your age and that are hustling and you know they have their own brands another weird item that i picked up is thermal treatment wrap like what on earth is that i definitely shouldn't have bought so much crap like i'm talking about plastic and saving the planet and blah 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 trying to be more conscious and that i'm buying stuff like this i don't really know if it even works but my mom was like you know what just you know just take it you know like let me spoil you so i was like okay thanks mom um yeah so it's a hydrate and shine mask i haven't tried it but it looks really cute you put it on like a little turban thing and speaking of turbans and you know those things um i ordered like a head towel that is supposedly gonna dry your hair super fast um so yeah i'm just waiting for the amazon package to arrive yeah obviously i'm not gonna have towels in turkey and you know i don't really want to go and buy and worry about those things so i'm just gonna be taking towels with me from here from germany speaking of supporting um other influencers other ladies that are hustling i'm so excited about this one because it just arrived as i was getting ready to film this video from douglas um i placed the order like two days ago and it is the morphe glow center and it is from one of my favorite youtubers lauren geraldo i'm absolutely obsessed with her content i watch every single video that she puts out i think she's such a super duper sweet person and yeah i don't know if you don't follow her check out her videos so yeah she recently collabed with morphe and this is a tinted moisturizer um which is called glow center because supposedly it makes you glow but the best part is that it has spf 30 so i actually put it on my hand wow i forgot i should have washed my hand before this video i put it on here and like it doesn't stand out so i think i got the right match like i know my body is a little more tan than my face but i think it's okay if i bought a little darker tinted moisturizer what i do know that it oxidizes a lot so it might look a lot darker after you apply it so yeah i'm gonna test it out maybe tomorrow and see and with regards to tinted moisturizers i'm so excited about this because it is another item that arrived from douglas and it is shantikai tinted moisturizer lodi lodi this is expensive af not gonna lie but i definitely was on the lookout for this tinted moisturizer for a long time because i just was so curious to try it and see what is all the hype about it you know it's not a brand new item it's been around for like a long time but i just kind of never really saw it anywhere i didn't really bother you know placing an order and just thought okay one day i'm gonna try it and when I was ordering the Morphe um, tinted moisturizer, I was like, let me just look it up. And it was available and it said it was new. So I think they just recently started stocking this on Douglas in Germany. I'll just give you like a comparison. So this is like 20 euros and this was like 76. So you can buy almost four of these for the price of this one. Like that says a lot. But I watched so many reviews and honestly, everyone praises it so much. So your girl had to try it for herself and i'm so excited to try it this is spf 15 and they take pride so much in this product the brand 
This is the box, by the way. I had to show you, of course. Like, they don't test on animals. And it doesn't have, like, any harmful ingredients in it. And blah -de da de da So basically, like, really high-end type of product and i just thought let me treat myself why not and then i ordered this 24 hour brow setter simona my friend if you're watching this thank you uh, for recommending this i actually tried it out because she said it's the only like product that makes your eyebrows stay up and i honestly can confirm girl this shit is strong so if you're looking for a brow fixator this is so good i almost ordered anastasia beverly hills pomade that's supposed to hold your eyebrows and then i read the reviews and i was like oh my gosh this is crap um so yeah i'm so glad i didn't place the order for that and i remembered about this one and i placed the order for that whoa i'm talking so much my mouth's like getting dry now <laughs> so i'm not a big like lip gloss person but i picked up this one because i thought whoa it looks really cool and i saw Gigi hadid on the cover and i was like mm, okay she's the face of this product and i actually looked it up before you know i didn't just blind buy it i looked it up and it's with hyaluronic acid so girl this is actually really really good i can try to put it on i don't have this one on now i have um i forgot what it's called the one from dior but i'm gonna apply this one so you can see they have a lot of different colors it's not like a light color. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot. And it doesn't have like that sticky feeling, which a lot of lip glosses do. So there is a few more items that I bought, but I'm not gonna be taking them to Istanbul. So I got these um, products from Caviar, um, anti-aging, replenishing, moisture, shampoo, and conditioner, and this restructuring bond repair leave-in protein cream. I'm gonna ask my mom to bring them to me to Dubai when she comes, because my suitcase is definitely still full from all the stuff that I packed to Croatia and all the stuff that I just bought obviously so yeah I cannot pack too much she recommended to me these uh, Pena 10 products and they are actually for kids but it's a German brand and like I was in search of like a nice shower gel because like sometimes I just use a normal uh, bar of soap but sometimes it's just nice to use a shower gel so she's like just try this one and I tried it and honestly it smells so good and it's like you know it's for kids so it doesn't really have like any harmful stuff in it and just a regular body cream um i don't know do you guys like use baby products for yourself i feel like it's not necessarily you know the worst thing i can understand why some people would be like okay that's weird but for me it's like fine like i'll use a product that i find good and yeah i don't see any issue with it oh somebody's cutting the grass and so now it's gonna be annoying sorry next i packed this huge bag of like soups there is like a um, jello jelly thing that you can make with water so that's what i'm going to be taking to turkey with me because i do know that some days you know you will be at castings and stuff like almost the whole day you're going from one place to another it's kind of nice to come home and just make something very quick so i thought you know because i'm on a keto diet right now or at least trying to be um i thought you know having a soup is kind of good um or you can drink broth but i kind of find it a little bit weird i'm not like a biggest fan i mean it's i'm trying to make it grow on me but yeah i feel like an instant soup is still better than no soup at all and these ones they have like just like 10 grams of carbs in it so it's not you know terrible and then i bought a lot a lot of protein type of bars but they're like keto bars okay it's a lot i'm not gonna lie i bought a lot um these are like 15 to 16 grams in each of them but I, again i justified by the fact that if i'm gonna be you know at a shoot and if i'm just starving and i you know i cannot really eat carbs so much at the moment let me just get have something with me um or, or like available on on hand so yeah, I bought a lot of like these type of bars. I also discovered this really cool brand uh, here in Germany called Lisa. And they do like low carb stuff. So like I tried their low carb pizza and it was really good actually. I mean, of course, taste, you know, is subjective. So yeah, I took one of these. Um, it takes four minutes. It's like a bread in the cup. You know, maybe I can just eat it with a soup or something. It's a bit of a headache to monitor carbs on this diet. I'm not gonna lie. Like you really need to be committed. But again, I feel like the benefits of just feeling so energized and like feeling so light are amazing. So that's kind of like my driving motive. Of course, everything with sugar, you know, is a no-no. So you can eat a lot of like 
cheese like mascarpone ricotta philadelphia yesterday i made a cheesecake and it's a lemon keto cheesecake and it's so damn good i saw these little uh like aroma flavors uh, one is vanilla and one is lemon and i thought this is super cool to take with me to turkey because like i can just buy maybe like mascarpone and just pour this or like buy some cottage cheese and pour this and you know it's gonna be flavored i also ordered this up amazon which is uh, passion fruit like flavored drops I don't know why I think it wasn't in focus like I said it really requires preparation you cannot just go and dive in head first type of you know lifestyle but it's definitely definitely worth it and lastly my mom she encouraged me to take a bowl my own bowl and I actually was really supportive of the idea because when I was watching some of the vlogs of models I saw like how filthy the kitchens can look and I just was like oh hell no I don't want to sound negative but I definitely want to be prepared for the worst so I'm just taking this one with me it has its own fork knife and spoon so that's really cool and I'm taking a little um I don't know what it's called yeah I can just make like a little protein shake so yeah I'm kind of sorted I'm gonna be <laughs> just using these for the next two months probably I just have a few more days left here and I'm gonna be you know trying to make the most of it and enjoying the time with my mom and then yeah I'm excited for this new chapter in Turkey I hope you guys will be enjoying the content from Turkey as well so probably next week there's not gonna be a video because I want to first like settle in and just kind of see my routine there is like and then you know update you when it's a good time to do so um by the way before i go i just wanted to say if you do have any modeling questions or if you consider doing this career or if you find it interesting um please let me know any 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 questions that you might have because i will be filming a q a with my friend sterling um i like i mentioned i think at the beginning of this video we met on a shoot and she will be in istanbul at the same time as i um, so yeah, we decided that we're gonna film this Q&A video because she's been in the industry for like a long time So she will definitely be able to give you a lot more answers probably than I will But I wanted to share my insight as well as a plus size model and yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that Thank you so much for watching uh, Please don't forget to subscribe like and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload my next video And I'll see you guys very very soon Bye. I forgot to show you one more item and that is this um, suitcase cover um, I got it from Amazon this suitcase I'm not even joking to you was like black almost after like a first trip and I came to Germany and my mom saw it and she freaked out she was like what the hell why is your suitcase so dirty so I don't know you know she did some mom magic right here she managed to clean it up I tried to clean it I, I couldn't I don't know the scratches just wouldn't go away and yeah I don't know what she did but it's like brand new so I wanted to protect it there is the velcro and yeah it just closes there at the bottom and honestly I'm obsessed I'm gonna link this as well below mm -hmm.